Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is a part two of the video uh, with the title using TaxRack to conduct OCR and then to use Genii to extract features. So uh, let's recall what's happening. Uh, previous video in part one, we talked about how to upload a picture, any picture. Uh, for example, here I have an insurance policy .jpg. Uh, and then here we can use OCR to create these bounding boxes. These bounding boxes tell us these are the texts and that's the location of the text inside of a scan picture. Uh, now the use case here could be literally anything, right? It could be a, a healthcare form in uh, healthcare, in hospital, uh, or it could be a check from financial institutions, things like that. So uh, that's the setup. We have part one, we have all these amazing data. And now how do we extract the useful information? Uh, so in the old days, what you're going to do is you're going to look into these bounding boxes and you're going to have to make a determination of, okay, uh, is this a title, is it a first name, is it a last name, so on and so forth. You go to uh, pretty much every single line item in this objects and you're going to have to basically extract them by hand. Now, the good thing is right now we have Gen AI, right? We have large language model, we have multimodal model. In today's case, uh, we're going to build a simple framework uh, to use large language model to do the extraction for us. So how does that work? Well, let me show you what the function look like. So this function extract the text for us. Uh, that's actually a small derivation from previous video. Uh, so we're not going to go too much deep into that. Uh, what this function does is it extracts all text, right? Insurance policy name, first name, last name. We don't really know that information is the first name. We just know that, hey, maybe there's a John Doe somewhere in the the text from the response uh, from the OCR output, and uh, let's just get that out, right? So that's what this function is doing. Uh, now, uh, once you run a function, you uh, realize that there are a bunch of uh, these uh, concatenated text. And this is essentially just a giant paragraph of information. Uh, these are only the text information from that picture, right? So combined insurance company of Ireland, where does that come from? Well, that come from this picture, right? That's the title, combined insurance company of Ireland. So here's the thing. We have all these data extracted from a picture. Now we want to extract the features, right? The features means you know what that is. So if you're going to extract this, you know that maybe that's the name of a company, right? Maybe there's a policy number. Uh, maybe somewhere down here, there's a first name, last name. So we're going to do that using OpenAI. Install the package, right? So people install OpenAI. I get your API key in there, right? I instantiate a client. Uh, so all those are just set up. And now this is a function. So this is a framework that I personally like and I personally have been using that I found very helpful. Uh, so instead of just question and answer, you want to give a bit more information, right? So what that means is on top of question, you want to provide a policy, you want to provide a content, and then you want to provide safeguard. Uh, so these things, you want to all throw them into that API call, right? That that chat GPT API call. And then you want to make sure you define them very clearly. And uh, the good thing about this is since we're talking about large language model, you can pretty much do this using simple English, simple language. There's no coding involved, right? So how does that work is uh, you create uh, this list of conversation in that API call, right? So when you create uh, that response, when you make that API call of ChatGPT of GPT-4 or GPT-3.5, uh, you want to create this flow of conversation, right? So how does it look is, hey, you say you're a helpful assistant. Uh, here's a policy I want you to follow, tag the policy in there. Is there any information I can use? Well, please use information and following the content. Well, here's the content, right? Tag it. Anything you want me to be aware of? Well, here's a safeguard protocol, right? Safeguard, tag that. What's the question? Finally answer the question. The chat completion function will take this info as given and generate future conversations based on this info. So uh, it depends on the policy, depends on the content, uh, depends on the safeguard. Right, so now this function is defined. Now let me show you how this works. Uh, so I have uh, this config file here uh, that's uh, complete engineer using natural language. It's a JSON file uh, or also known as a dictionary. Now there's a question, there's a policy, content, safeguard. A uh, question can simply be, what's the first name? And then the policy is something general, answer the question using the content. Uh, this extracted text is what we saw above. Uh, all that the giant paragraph of blob, 
that we extracted from uh, the OCR output, right? That's all here. Uh, so the goal is to have large language model go through that and help us extract the first name. And that's really what it is. And then you can provide a safeguard, right? Safeguard just something more restrictive, right? Provide the answer directly, don't override it. Uh, if you don't know the answer, just say a name. Uh, now, I personally find this uh, not always on the spot. And maybe I can show you an example just after this explanation here, what that look like. Uh, but of course, you can always edit uh, or update it according to your own desire. Uh, so that's the first name, make that API call. Now, of course, you can update this config file. Uh, the question here will be, what's the last name? Fine, no problem. Extract the last name, right? First name now becomes an object. Last name now becomes an object, so on and so forth. What's the insurance policy number, things like that. Uh, so you run all these code and already run it. You can see the output down here. It says first name is Nile, last name is Molly. Insurance number is 45451911. Right. So now let's go back to the original picture and examine this information. Uh, so I see Niall here and Molly here. And then uh, the info number for the insurance is 45451911. I believe that's here. Uh, so let me see if I can open the picture directly. Uh, this is the raw picture on the right hand side. Uh, 45451911, that's on the top left corner. Uh, the name is in the middle, Niall, Molly, that's here. Uh, so I believe uh, this pretty much uh, proves this concept. And uh, there's a little bit of a hand waving, right? Because this is a uh, Nile and maybe you just want Nile, right? You don't really want a full sentence. Uh, so something like that, you can probably re-engineer uh, the safeguard, re-engineer the policy in a way that you want, right? Uh, but this essentially gets you the information. And we are able to do this on the spot pretty quickly, right? You don't need a whole lot of processing or compute unit. So uh, hopefully this provide a framework for you uh, to go end to end from scanning your document, to run the OCR, scrape the document, and then use GNI large language model to extract the information. And then once you have first name, last name, and insurance number or whatever ID that you have in the form, you can enter that in your database, right? Once you enter that in the database, it becomes part of the data warehouse. And then you can use that to query uh, or to run your sales or to run predictions or generate features or do whatever it is that you need to do in your business. So if you like the video, subscribe.